right, so we have uh, the, the major movement for the monkey is the pull. So the easiest way to, to sort of see the pull or the body weight ninja exercise of the monkey is a pull up. Now the pull up is a very, very difficult exercise to do. Most men can't do one. And women are less stronger because they don't have the same wide shoulder uh, girth. Uh, so it's not a sexist comment, that's a factual comment. Um, and by the way, there's 32 physiological differences between men and women. Uh, mostly to do with the width of the shoulder and the width of the pelvis. And the width of the pelvis is wider in females, it's mostly to do with childbirth. And I'm not really sure why the width of the shoulder is for men. Perhaps it's to do with climbing and throwing spears and, and that sort of thing. But don't quote me and don't hold me against that. <laughs> So uh, the pull is a good test of that, and it's highly desirable in, in, in for me that everybody, including females, be able to do one. Right? But it does take a lot of practice. So here's a couple of different options for you to um, regress from, and the first one is the pull up. So from. So if you want to count yourself as doing a full pull up, it goes from straight arm to bent arm, chin over the bar, to straight arm again. I would give you a one for that. Now the next one that we can do is a jumping pull up. And the jumping pull up is you jump and you use the momentum of the jump to help get you over the sticking point, which is usually about 90 degrees. That's the sticking point. Okay? So it's a jump and then come down so that's just a little bit easier um, the third option and it's not, it, there's more than the options that I'm given there's other options there's sort of some options there's many ways so it's this is a, a heavy band and you can regress your bands to the lighter band so it's giving you less amount of help you pull that wide, pull it down, you can put your knee or your foot on it. I prefer to put the knee. Arms are a bit wider than shoulder width. Come down. And the, the band, the idea is the band to just give you enough help so you can get your chin over the bar and then back down. So you would start off with this band. Do as many as you can, maybe three sets. If you can do probably over 10 time to go for the next band, so on and so on and so on. You definitely need to wean yourself off the band um, because sometimes you just get too familiar with that resistance. So you may want to try with the knee sometimes, the feet sometimes, the straight leg. Um, but definitely get spend a little of time as possible using the bands. Um, and then the novice pull up is we've got a little jump and we're going to we're going to take our time eccentric lowering down. So it's a jump up and then just take our time to lower down and then you just repeat. I would limit yourself to five seconds going down, five reps. If you do that for five sets, you'll definitely know where your lats are and your forearms are. Um, but don't get too caught up in one of those methods. You always want to try a full one every single time. A couple of keys to that is pull your shoulder blades down first and then follow that through. Uh, next we go to the TRX. Suspension trainer. And it goes fully shortened. And you start with your hands by your chest. And all you do is straighten your arms and then bring your chest back to your hands. Now, if, that, if you can do 10 of those, then you can take your feet forward and so on. And then you walk back. So that makes it easier. So again, if you can do 10, keep going down. You might be going to an inverted row like this, which is a bit harder. Put your hands underneath. Come up. 
just be aware that the pull-up is high to low like that. The inverted row is in a different plane, so it's using slightly different emphasis. This one's definitely using the lats, this one's doing more of the rhomboids. So don't expect to go from being able to do 100 there to 1 there. You need to graduate through all of these progressions. So that's a pull-up for the monkey.